Okay, so before we begin, talagang pinaka simula na itong show na to or ng, ng video na to, I'd just like to uh, kasi hindi ito wala ito sana, wala ito doon sa uh, pag-uusapan natin, pero uh, right off the bat, it's gonna be a very uh, heavy topic, and uh The guy that I'm going to reference for this uh, for this episode of the Intrepid Show would be uh, someone who is. Sabi na natin napaka naman problema siya when it comes to uh, finances in the legal actions that were uh, presented against him. So, if you're that generous, if you would like to support him monetarily. I have provided the uh, proper channels on how, how to support him um, with the links uh, in the description below pati na dun sa pinned comments so yun lang naman and uh, let's get into the disclaimer The following video may contain sensitive topics The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Well, this video was supposed to be uh, tackling something that caught my interest and not dive to be too deep into commentary since this is the very first episode of my reformatted program unfortunately it looks like this video comes full circle ladies and gentlemen from its studio south of manila ijr productions presents the intrepid show and welcome to the very first episode of the intrepid show and right out the bat tis a salty reaction where commentaries need an extra dose of salt i was informed the day before i decided to write the script for this video that doc adam smith yes the tagalog speaking english gp based in australia australia um, specifically in melbourne i am not sure but basically uh He's located in the state of Victoria. He announced his exit from YouTube just because he tried to be both funny and informative. What triggered his decision was his series of videos attempting to correct some very disturbing and very misleading medical information from, well, I should just say people who either do not have a medical license to do so or those who are in the medical profession and are very loud with their opinions that they decided to sue him. Now, to be fair with Doc Adam in his and his vi final video, he went down fucking swinging. That's what I like about it. Yun yung, ano, yun yung nagustuhan ko sa video na yun. Now, in honor of Doc Adam's contribution to the medical field, I would just keep this more of a commentary on how we react to both informative content and misleading ones. In this time of uncertainty, we must remember nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. At bahagi ng paggawa ng tao ng paraan bilang ambag sa walang hanggang awa ng Diyos ay ang pagsusumikap na malaman ang pinakamainam at pinakaakbang paraan ng pagpapagaling sa anumang sakit na mayroon ang tao. At iyon ay ang pagtitiwala sa mga akademikong pagsasaliksik at hindi sa mga proseso o produkto na nagbibigay lamang ng placebo effect. You can google it out, the term placebo effect, okay? At bago pa lumalim ang Tagalog ko dito, I'll switch back to English. This just made me think of the very first video I made on this channel. And it seems that I have not properly addressed it myself. Nakakahiya bang maging Filipino? Is it shameful? to be a Filipino. With what just happened, I painfully answer, yes, I am absolutely fucking ashamed. It seems that we Filipinos have lost our real sense of humor. What's worse is that we have distorted it to the point that it becomes too crass and stale just to accommodate people who get offended easily. Sometimes, 
it happens to be all of us. But with my more than 10 years of exposure to various media content, both as a media studies uh, student and as in an independent media practitioner, I've been used to all that to the point that I've been borderline cynical with anything that involved issues and controversies. Honestly, it was just too draining. I remember when I was a little boy during the late 90s and early 2000s, there was this satirical comedy show aired uh, on the former ABC5, which we now call uh, TV5, called Ispoop. And it is basically comedic skits and spoofs involving the influential and relevant politicians of the day. In all honesty, that was the last hurrah of the fourth estate to make fun of the powers that be before the format slowly transitioned to social media. And Angelo Reyes offing himself was also a news item at that period, so it is what it is. But then again, the advent of social media in our islands was actually a Pandora's box. This is where people's attitudes were known. This is where we witnessed the best of us and the worst of us at all at the same fucking time. Rapid changes meant racing to get into trends and make the most out of it for our own benefit, monetary or otherwise. And social media just enabled the vicious cycle of bullying to continue online. While the digital transition of communication and information can empower the voiceless and those who were once bullied, it would also create bullies in themselves in some instances. Thus, giving people a say on things through digital means is definitely a mixed bag. Now, in this digital age, we we get access to the information we absolutely need that is certainly verifiable by academic research. Now, on the other hand, there are others who exploit their accessibility to the information superhighway to spread their eccentric and unproven beliefs, philosophies, theories, and professional and practical opinions on anything and everything they lay their eyes on and put their hands on both literally and figuratively on both counts. And for certain individuals, they would fight tooth and nail to prove themselves right. In short, what empowers us can also cause our fall. And it's not just Doc Adam who is suffering just because he wanted to entertain and inform at the same time. Outside the local social media scene, Keemstar, the presenter of the YouTube channel Drama Alert, announced that he intended to retire on his 40th birthday in March 2022. Upon hearing or watching the reason why he was quitting, he explained the prevalence of the cancel culture in the United States. He even argued that because of it, content creators who survived the COVID-19 pandemic so far just became walking, talking advertisements who have declined to speak their minds at the risk of becoming irrelevant in the eyes of their followers. Now, before I veer too far from the course of this topic, it is just absurd absolutely fucking absurd that we Filipinos cannot accept criticism constructively and yet at the very same time give criticisms that are too harsh even to the point of ridicule and outright slander to just to demolish the individual group or institution we are criticizing with Doc Adams exit from YouTube many who supported him and some who noticed it quoted Apolinario Mabini's line in the TBA Studios film Goyo Ang Batang General. Kaya na ba ng Pilipino na marinig ang katotohanan ng hindi napipigon? Will the Filipino people be able to hear the truth without being offended? And side note, uh, Epikizon's portrayal of uh, Apolinario Mabini in Goyo and uh, General Luna was absolutely spot on. Saludo ako sa kanya. This question, I think, is what we as a people should answer first. Unless and until this is answered in the affirmative, I will remain ashamed of my own countrymen. To repeat that, unless and until this is answered in the affirmative, I will remain ashamed of my own countrymen. This regarding racism and Pinoy baiting and accusations of such foreigners who genuinely love this country of ours, such as Doc Adam and Puting Pinoy, are being maligned 
just because of the fact that they are foreigners and we are sick and tired of foreigners jacking up our country in any way, shape, or form. Now, if I remember correctly, the Filipino Revolutionary Army, commanded by Emilio Aguinaldo, also consisted of Spaniards who joined the cause, as well as some American deserters. We even had a Chinese and an Indian general, for goodness sakes. And remember one of the officers who fought at Tirad Pass in Goyo, portrayed by Matt Evans? He's fucking Spanish, cabron. I said it earlier, I'll say it again, so to make my point clear. Unless and until we as a people can hear the truth without being offended, unless and until we can take genuine, constructive criticism and not sneer and smear the reputation of the person or group who gave it, I will remain ashamed of my own countrymen. But do not worry. I will not take down that flag. It will remain hanging there. I will not take down this flag and burn it in protest. I'll keep it there because I love my country. I love my country. But I cannot stand my countrymen and that's it for this video if you like what you just saw i would appreciate it if you would click the thumbs up icon below and share this video around i also invite you to subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell by selecting all that way you would be notified if ever i have new videos plus i might get the chance that the algorithm would send this video your way either way whether you do all of these or not i would still give my commentaries for you to consider and discern and with all that said, this is Intrepid Ian Rinyon reminding you to keep your coffee sweet and your nilaga salty with a generous dose of garlic and cabbages. And at all times, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, always, re always research thoroughly, and as always, thank you for watching. See you next time. Ian Adam. Alam mo doka Adam, pakasalam na si Casey. We would be much happier if we knew you got married already, mate. I mean, you know, it's just... I'm really sad that you have to go, but you know, it's been a good run. And, uh... My girlfriend and I have appreciated your content and uh, talagang nagtatawanan talaga kami to sa ano sa mga content mo because it really is ano, it really is a good uh, it's a good it really is good stuff and I've already uh, shared this in my video last year uh, nung kinote ko rin si Dario Bresanini but uh, yeah uh, I just wanted to let you know doc that uh, I really appreciate what you do and um, I wish you good luck with all your future endeavors and uh, for and I also wish you good luck in uh, marrying Casey so alagaan mo na lang siya kasi kababayan namin yan so uh, for everyone else um, ilalagay ko sa description sa baba pati sa pin comment yung mga paraan kung paano kayo makakapag uh, donate kay Doc Adam if you are very generous enough kahit hindi na sa akin okay I do have a Patreon I do have a buy me a coffee I do have all of that pero uh, kung mag donate man kayo dyan ito donate ko din kay Doc Adam yun, lahat yun the proceeds of this video will go to Doc Adam if ever uh, I get paid for this so uh, yun lang naman ang gusto ko sabihin and um Doc Adam, thank you for giving your all to this country and I'm very sorry that you have to leave because of the foolishness of my own people. Yun lang. Anyway, that's all for this video. Ian out.